Today, all of the nation's brightest children are gathered in Dublin for the annual Boys and Girls Science Fest, where one can catch a glimpse of the inventions and contraptions of tomorrow. And what is your invention, little boy? I have built a telephone that you can take anywhere. A wireless telephone? Yes. But that but would be much too small to find in one's briefcase or traveling trunk. It makes this ringing sound. What an annoying cacophony. And who would wish to be speaking on the telephone when one could be piloting one's automobile or enjoying a luncheon? Your idea is simply rotten and could never be popular in a million years. Sorry. And what have you got, small girl? I have made this computing machine which can be used to write messages and send them electrically across a worldwide wire. I suppose one can watch moving pictures on a turf. Yes, it has a disk drive. I think you've been drinking too much cocoa, little lady. As a machine like this could never replace a typewriter with a good secretary to operate it and deliver the document to a fully staffed mailroom. I suggest you put your mind to inventing more useful items, such as an exciting board game or an attractive area for a wireless. And what about you, Bye. My project has been to make the trousers that the gentlemen will have in the next millennium. How very exciting. And could you talk us through these trousers of tomorrow? They're the, the rockets for going into space. And this is a map of space here. And, the, and uh, that's a whirly for whirling against the other galaxies. Everything a gentleman could possibly need. Thank you for sharing your exciting trousers with us. Let's hope the future of Irish science We'll have more useful items like that, and a lot less of the other rubbish. And perhaps by the year 1960, the first Irish rocket will have landed on Mars.